Hi, Rowan. We are ready to start the next part of our architectural drawing and add extra details to our drawings today. So the supplies that you are going to need, you're going to need the drawing that we did last week, and you're going to need both your um, fine Sharpie black marker and your ultra fine Sharpie black marker. Now, Mr. Warner, this is the example that Mr. Warner um, started for us. And if you remember from last week, we just started putting in details with our pencils, like the brick and the different kinds of rooftops. We have some of the stepped facades for our building. We have ones made out of wood and ones made out of um, different materials. So in ours, ours is not quite the same, but we are going to um, be filling it in today just with covering all of our pencil lines in black marker. Later on, next time, we will be adding color with color pencils. So let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be a process that it just takes a while. You might decide that you want to have your ruler available with your marker if there are some spots where you just feel like you're having a hard time following the lines that we put in. So that's up to you. I don't want you to feel rushed. So at any point while we're doing this, if you need to just take a break and come back to it another day this week, that would be fine. It's more important that we take the time to do this well than to rush through it. My other suggestion to you while we work on this is that um, we're going to start at the top so we don't smear the pencil with our arm going over it. I am going to take a sheet of paper that will protect uh, my arm and sleeve and the pencils from smearing. So we'll go ahead and I'm going to start at the top of my roof. I'm going to put this on um, fast so that you won't have to, it's going to take a while to do this. So I will definitely put it on a faster speed so it doesn't take that long to watch it. But there are a couple of things, like when we were working on this part of our roof here that have the tile, you can see we've got the curve that Mr. Warner did, but you can see here we have the pencil lines that are left over. We had those straight pencil lines to show us where to do our little curved roof tile. So we're not going to outline those straight lines. We're just going to do the ones that we like and want to keep. Now I really like my ultra fine Sharpie marker and I'll show you kind of what the difference it looks like when we're doing it. So that's the ultra fine. It doesn't cover quite as much area so if you want some of it to be a little bit thicker I'm going to pull these lines all the way up. You can use just the fine point. And I think that for some things, the fine point is probably a better choice because it will just go faster. I want you to notice that I'm ignoring these straight pencil lines that we put in because those we don't want and I'm pulling up these lines from the roof tile to go all the way up to the next one. Now you can see I'm following that line, but I just couldn't quite get it perfectly straight, so I can take my ruler and use that to keep it straight. Before I go any farther on this building, I'm just going to go across my paper and finish all the details um, on this part of my other two buildings. When I look at this, these small pieces, I'll probably use my ultra fine marker for. Any pencil lines that still show, we're going to erase at the end.
You might want to put paper underneath your drawing if you're worried about um, getting the marker on your table. Right, we are about, well, we're about two thirds of the way finished. I want you to take a break if you need to. Otherwise, um, you can keep going. We've spent a lot of time putting in these lines so take your time making sure you catch all of them we did those double lines to make we did the double lines to make frames on our doors and windows you know take your time to get those in get our hinges in This was the little open sign I was making this a shop down here that I put in the window. I have everything um, outlined in black that we started with. Uh, I didn't outline my water yet. I think I'm going to take my ultra fine and kind of um, outline my water. The last part of what we want to do today is add a couple little extras inside our uh, windows. So for example, here I'm going to put some curtains in that upper window, but I'm not gonna put them um, on these lower windows. In this one down here, I think I'm gonna put I'm making a rectangle and I'm going to put some flowers in it like that. In each of your windows you can choose to put different things. I think here I'm going to put a line for like a table and then I'm going to put I'm going to make it into a bakery. I'm going to put bread in there. A bunch of bread that they might be selling. And then I'm going to put a poster on here with a cup. Make this into a poster. for coffee that you can have at the bakery. You could put a little dog, you could put a cat face in here if you wanted. You could put um, like shades, so in this one I'll put shades that are pulled part way down to block out the sun. And those are just vertical lines, I mean horizontal lines going across. going to put I think a cat in the window and I might because I'm not very good at drawing cats do it with pencil first 
So I made basically like a circle and part of an oval. And I'll use triangles for ears and a little triangle for a nose. Put some whiskers on there. Lines to show that there are legs and a little tail in the back. And I'll just go over that with my markers. And you could put spots on it if you wanted. It's looking, my marker spread out, so it's looking a little, maybe a little scary. <laughs> but you can go ahead. And Rowan, I really look forward to seeing what fun things you put in your windows. You obviously don't have to do anything like what I'm going to do. You could put, um, like I said, animals or window trimmings, uh, all different types of things that you could add to the window. got a little dog but it's gotten blur a little bit blurry again with my marker but you can try all different things you can put curtains or whatever else you might want in your windows I look forward to seeing what those are you can post them on seesaw so that I can see all the fun ideas that you have and what you might find is that you have some ideas but you don't have them right away so you need to come back to it and add some extras inside uh, your windows as you go so I'm going to think about I'm kind of finishing off the little extras in there and I'm going to um, keep thinking about those myself. The last thing that we're going to do together is that we're going to take our eraser and we're just going to erase all of those pencil lines that we didn't fully cover. And this will probably take a little while. And what you might find is after you erase them, like here, I realized I didn't make the second layer of my window. So I just had to put that in. So just go over your drawing, erase all of the lines that we didn't cover with marker, just get rid of those because we don't need them anymore. And then I like to just take a paintbrush that's dry and I just brush whenever you're erasing something so big. I just brush all of the eraser marks. towards the bottom of the paper and then I'll take the my paper and I will just um, dump it over the garbage and get rid of all of those eraser marks. So you can kind of see how it's cleaning up and I've got, I'm just going to have a pile right here at the bottom, which I will dump out when I am done with this video. So go ahead, Ron. Hope you have fun coming up with um, lots of fun things for your windows that you cover all of your lines with marker and the ones that you don't want um, to go ahead and just erase those. Post what you've done on uh, on Seesaw. 
this week. I would love to see what you've done. And then we will work with adding color next week. Have a great week.